Hey everybody, Matthew Larry here. I want to take a second to welcome you to Thursday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. Now all this week on the broadcast, we've been doing a series of teachings entitled Lay Hold. And we're learning how to lay hold of what God has given to us so that we can enjoy the reality of it in our lives. Now on today's broadcast, I want to talk to you about laying hold and not letting go. Come on, friend, lay hold and don't let go. You know, when you go to lay hold of what God has given to you, you're always going to run into opposition. And why is that? Because you have an enemy who doesn't want you to possess what God has given to you. You know, in Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 24, the Lord said this, rise up. Take your journey, pass over the river Arnon. Behold, I have given into your hand Shion, the Amorite king of Heshbon, and his land. I've given it to you. And the Lord said, begin to possess it and contend with him in battle. And so what's the Lord saying? He's saying, when you go to possess it, there's going to be a fight why? Because there's an enemy there that doesn't want you to have it. And so laying hold of what God has given to you always involves a fight. You know, 1 Timothy 6.12 says this, Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. And so fighting the good fight of faith is connected to laying hold. Come on, when you go to lay hold of what God has given to you, you're going to run into opposition and you're going to have to fight. Now, what is the fight? The fight is the fight of faith. And the enemy is fighting to get you into unbelief so that you don't possess what God has given to you. You have to remember in Hebrews 3, 19, it told us that the children of Israel did not possess the land because of their unbelief. Verse 19 says they could not enter because of their unbelief. And so the enemy is fighting to get you and I into unbelief so that we don't possess and enjoy what God has given to us. And that's where the fight uh, begins. Him fighting to get us out of faith, us fighting to stay in faith. He wants to get you into unbelief. Unbelief about what? Unbelief that it's not yours, you'll never have it, you'll never get it, you'll never enjoy it. That's what he wants to get you thinking, that you're never going to get free from this anxiety. You're never going to get free from this uh, depression. You're never going to in get into God's good will and plan for your finances. You're never going to get that spouse that you're believing for. He wants you to believe you're never going to get it. You don't have it. You're never going to enjoy it. He wants to get you into that position of unbelief. And so the opposition that you and I will run into when we go to possess what God has given to us is we will run into things telling us no. Telling us no, you don't have it. You don't have your healing and you're never going to get your healing. You don't have that uh, money that you need to, to get out of debt and you're never going to get it. You, the opposition we run into is things telling us no. You know, Joshua and Caleb ran into walls and giants. And those walls and giants were telling them, no, you're never going to possess the land. You're never going to enjoy it. You're never going to have it. And friend, you and I will run into bad reports. We'll run into thoughts and feelings and circumstances all the time telling us, no, you're never going to be free from that addiction. No, you're never going to be free from that anxiety. No, you're never going to be free from that sickness and disease. And this is the opposition that we run into, things telling us no. And when we run into that opposition, we have to fight. Come on, I need to say that to you again. When we run into that opposition... And when that opposition comes, 
We have to fight. You know, Joshua and Caleb ran into that opposition and they fought back and said, well, we see the walls, we see the giants, but we're well able to possess, to, to possess the land and to overcome. What are they doing? They're fighting the good fight of faith. They're not going to believe what the rest of the people are believing. The rest of the people lost the fight of faith and they started believing we can't go in and we'll never possess it. And if we try, we'll die. Joshua and Caleb ran into the opposition that said no. And they said, well, we're well able to possess it. We're well able to overcome it. And friend, when you run into negative circumstances and when you run into negative feelings and negative reports and negative thoughts, telling you, no, you don't have it and you'll never enjoy it. You need to fight and you better be ready to fight if you do want to enjoy what God has given to you. Here's a statement God gave me as I was preparing for the broadcast. He said this. He said, what you do when you hit opposition determines whether or not you will possess. I want to say that to you again. What you do when you hit opposition, determines whether or not you will possess. Come on, friend, when, that, when, when the majority of that generation saw the giants and saw the walls and hit opposition, telling them, no, you're not going in, what they did when they hit opposition is why they didn't go in and enjoy the land. And the opposite is true about Joshua and Caleb. What they did when they hit opposition, determined why they went into the land. And so, friend, your faith must have a tenacity about it. And what I mean by that is when something tells me no, I'm not letting go of what I've laid hold of. When something tells me no, I'm not letting go. Come on, say that with me as you're watching the broadcast. When something tells me no, I'm not letting go. Your faith has to have a tenacity about it. You know, in Mark chapter 2, there was these four guys who had a friend who was so sick he had to lay on a bed. And they put him, the, their friend on this stretcher, you could say, and they were going to bring him in front of Jesus because they believed if they got him in front of Jesus, he would get healed. And he believed that too. And so they're laying hold of healing for this guy. We're going to take you in front of Jesus and you're going to get healed. And so they left and they got to the house where Jesus was and there was no way in. And that there was a crowd and they couldn't get in the door. Friend, what's happening? Something is telling them no. But when something tells you no, you don't let go. And they didn't let go. They went to the top of the roof and ripped the roof off and dropped their friend down and he got healed. Come on, friend. When something tells you no, you don't let go. You keep going. Your faith has to have a tenacity about it. You know, the woman with the issue of blood said this. She said, if I touch his clothes, I will be made whole. Come on, what did she just do? She laid hold of something. But then she left her house and there was a big crowd around Jesus, big, huge crowd around him. And it was nearly impossible to get to him. But she pressed through the crowd. Why? Because when something tells you no, you don't let go. You have to have a tenacity about your faith. And that's why she pushed through the crowd because she's not letting go of what she laid hold of. You know, Jairus told Jesus, my daughter is at the point of death, but lay your hands on her and she will live. What did Jairus just do when he made that statement? He laid hold of something. Well, then when they were on the way to his house, somebody came from his house and said, don't bother Jesus. Your daughter's already dead. But Jesus said, fear not, believe only, and she will be made whole. And so come on, friend, when something tells you no, when you get the bad report, you don't let go. You fight the fight of faith. You continue to say, it's mine. I'm getting it. I'm going in. I have his peace. I have his joy. I have his healing. It belongs to me right now in the name of Jesus. And you don't let go of what you've laid hold of. Come on, lay hold and don't let go. 
And that's what we see with these guys that ripped the roof off. That's what we see with the woman that, with the issue of blood. That's what we see with Jairus. We see people who laid hold of something and then they didn't let go. Come on, friends, say it with me as you're watching the broadcast. I'm laying hold and I'm not letting go. Come on, say it with me again. I'm laying hold and I'm not letting go. What do you have to say? You have to say, God wants that for me. God has given that to me. I take it by faith. It's mine. I have it and I'm not letting go. And friend, you never believe that you're not going to get in. You never believe that it's not yours and that you'll never have it. You never believe that. You say what Joshua and Caleb said, we're well able to possess it and overcome it. And so if you are going to enjoy what God's given to you, you're going to run into opposition. And friend, you got to be ready to fight that fight of faith. And a big part of that fight is having the tenacity to not let go when something tells you no. Don't let go of what you've laid hold of. Praise the Lord. Now, as we're closing today's broadcast, I want to remind you these three things. Number one, when you go to lay hold of what God has given to you, you will run into opposition. Number two, the fight of faith is to get you into unbelief. The fight of faith, the fight the enemy is waging against you is to get you into unbelief so that you let go and don't possess what God has promised you. And so our fight is to continue to believe no matter what we see and how we feel. And number three, there must be a tenacity to your faith. When something tells you no, you don't let go. Let's pray. Father, Lord, we thank you today that you're helping us to fight the good fight of faith. Lord, we make a decision today that we're gonna lay hold of what you've given to us and we're not gonna let go. We're not gonna get into unbelief. We're not gonna believe that it's not ours and that we'll never enjoy it and that we'll never experience it. We're not gonna believe that. We're gonna fight the fight of faith. We're gonna stand on your word and declare it's ours. We have it and we're gonna enjoy the reality of it in our lives. And what we lay hold of, we will not let go of. And Father, we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, thank you so much for watching today's broadcast. Now, don't forget to come back tomorrow for Friday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. And we're going to close out this series entitled, Lay Hold. We'll see you then. Hey, everybody. Matthew Larry here. Hey, I just want to take a second to thank you so much for watching the Faith for Life broadcast each day. It is my joy and privilege to get to minister the Word of God into your life. Now, if these broadcasts have been a blessing to you and you'd like to help us reach others with the Word of God through these broadcasts, you can sow a financial seed into Matthew Larry Ministries by going to mam.tv. And friend, whatever you give, we believe it'll be given back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Thank you so much for supporting this ministry and for helping us take the message of faith to this generation.